Uh. Truth be told, one with the spirit, one with the soul. 11 11 illuminating this path is gold. Try by fire, yeah, it's cool, cause the world is cold. The wicked in the loop, one don't understand that he's in control. Woo! I wanna give all glory. All honor and all praises unto the Most High Heavenly Father for this very moment. For this very moment. For this very moment. And I want to give a Barak Atha and a Thawada to those who are being diligent out there. Doing the best that they can and keeping the commandments of the Most High Heavenly Fathers to the best of their abilities. As well as carrying on the faith of the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai who is the Malak who the world calls Jesus Christ. But as I always make it known, it's all about the kingdom, baby. So all glory. All honor and all praises be unto the Most High Heavenly Father. So call all Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, or Kadash. All praises, all praises. So this video right here, this, this video, yes, 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 this video, and this woman right here, oh. giving key points to all the aqua theme that's out there right now. Please open up your ears. Take heed. Take heed. Okay, I'm gonna give a witness. I'm gonna go into the book of Sarek, right? Chapter, chapter 26, and I'm gonna go at verse 14. They say, a silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord, a gift from Yahabashim Yahusha. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed, well instructed, well instructed, okay? I'm going to jump all the way back up in the same chapter, in the book of Sirach, chapter 26, and starting at verse 2. It, it say, a virtuous woman rejoiceth her husband, and he shall fulfill the years of his life in peace. In peace. In peace. That's right. You know why? Because in Genesis, right, chapter 3, and going at verse 16, unto the woman, he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow. And thy conception and sorrow thou shalt bring forth children and thy desire thy desire meaning your desire talking to the woman shall be to thy husband meaning her husband meaning her heart's desires shall be towards her husband okay and pleasing him right. right and he shall rule over thee and he shall rule over thee so her heart's desires are towards her husband and her husband ruling over her okay okay Matter of fact, let me go into the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 31, right? And I'm going to start at verse 28. Her children arise up and call her blessed, right? Her husband also, and he praises her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. She tops them all like she's a leading example. Oh, mm -hmm. Like this aquafium that's right here. Which I don't know if she's woken up in the truth or anything, but what she's bringing is of the spirit. Okay? And another thing, I don't want brothers to get caught up and have it within their minds to be like, this is the main focus. No, this is not the main focus. You don't want to, you don't want to become too focused on trying to get married and marrying and giving in marriage and all that. If it's in Yahabashim Yahushua's will for you and your life, for that aquatium, or the aqua, or either the ak or the akim that's out there. The brothers and the sisters, if it's in the Father's will for you to have that companion, that significant other, just know it's more so for His will. We all doing the works of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh But to ease the tension and to keep things going in the spirit within the union, if you already have one, right? Or if you have one that's on the way, what I am making known to you, plain and clear, take note on what's being said at this very moment, okay? Take note. Let me give you this in verse 30. Favor is deceitful. And beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Ooh. She know that favor is deceitful. Like, oh, you this, oh, you that, oh, I just favor. She know it can be deceitful. Right? And beauty is vain. She know that beauty is vain. She know that the true beauty, honestly, is within herself and how she carries herself, according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And that's even known because it said, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Right? She shall be praised. And we go in the same chapter in Proverbs chapter 31, right? And I'm going to um, go at, I'm going to start at verse 11. It says, the heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her so that he shall have no need of spoil. Meaning she's honest with him. 
he can trust her enough knowing that she is going to be honest with him and she's going to be true to him and she's going to be dedicated to him right especially knowing that she has the fear of the lord within her so she's going to tend to you in the matters according to what is written and she's going to use self-examination in her approach when she is dealing with you you ain't got to worry about her going off to another man. You ain't got to worry about her putting another man over you or you having second thoughts about her. You ain't got to worry about none of that because she's going to be there. Her eyes are only resting upon you. And she do it to, to not just to please you, but what she got in her heart for the Lord. For Yah Bashem Yahweh Shah. That's right. And she knows her character and she knows as it is written, all wickedness is but little wickedness when it comes to a woman. So she knows the nature that a woman can have herself occupied within. That could be in contrariness towards your high Bashem Yahweh Shah. But she's going to keep on striving and keep on pushing. And she's going to keep having herself to open her mouth up with wisdom. And her tongue to be operating with the law of kindness. Mm -hmm. oh. And watch this. Verse 12 in Proverbs chapter 31. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. She's going to do him good. She ain't going to do him evil. You see? An adulterous woman, that's evil. A promiscuous woman, that's evil. A woman putting another man over her, uh, her own man, that's evil. A woman that's not keeping the commandments of the Most High, that's evil. A woman that has herself in a place of, uh, 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 of not fearing the Lord, that's evil. And I could keep going on and on and on. But all I can say at the end of the day, to inspire all the aquatium that's out there, a lot of times you got to understand, your relationship with your head, you know, your man, is more so of you exercising your relationship and what you have with the Most High. You see, your man getting out of order, your head getting out of order, and you feel like he out of order, you take that to the most high. You still be the virtuous woman that you were created to be. You still uh, act out accordingly to, 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 to the righteousness and what the most high has established within you. Because you are working out your own salvation in the Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. You see? And best believe the most high would deal with that man if he's out of order. Oh yeah, he will deal with him. He will deal with him. He will deal with him. Likewise, as in a woman that's out of order, the most high is going to deal with her. But as a man, you keep on doing what you got to do by being loving, okay? And keep on doing the works of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So, I know this was a little long, but it was worth it. But we're going to get right in tune with the video, so let's get into it. Asking, well, what do you bring to the table? And women are now so attractive and, you know, making money and all these things. So we feel like, well, that automatically makes me a good catch. Look at me, I'm attractive and I make some money. Do you understand that even if you have a good paying job, a man will walk past your six figure making self and as, as attractive as you are and go to the mugly girl at Burger King because she knew how to be his piece and how to give him what he really was looking for. It doesn't matter what you make. Men don't care. When men ask you, what do you bring to the table? They're simply asking, do you know how to be my piece? Will you listen to me? Will you encourage me? Will you help me to pursue my dreams and to be a better man and a human being? Are you compassionate? Are you kind? Are you loving? Are you nurturing? Will you pray with me? Will you pray for me? I'm out here fighting the world. I don't want to come home and fight with you too. If I'm going to fight, I hope that you'll fight with me and fight for me. Are you going to be everything that I need? Because at the end of the day, what I'm really looking for is peace and stability. They will walk past everything if you're not that.